me going into this, I might have another avenue of impacting somebody else's life. Yep. And the top, I tell people, my whole, the best thing about my journey is, my motivation is being able to help people. Mm. That's really what it is. I want to help people. I want to show people, hey, it's possible. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. It's literally possible. We're in the same room. We're in the same environment. It's possible for you to do it. You just got to change up the way you think. Welcome to another episode of the Root of Everything podcast, where we not only come on here to bring on noteworthy guests, but we also come on here to inspire you to follow your passion. Got my guy Mo. How you doing today, my guy? I'm good, bro. Appreciate you having me. For sure. Good to have you on the um on the podcast. Tell the yeah. people who you are, kind of a little synopsis of who you are and what you do. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Mohamed Koulibaly. I'm a soccer player, first and foremost. You know, I started my soccer journey since I was three, mm-hmm. made it to a professional level, and then after that, you know, took a... You know, use my connections that I've made and built throughout my career and took that step into the entrepreneurship world where now I own multiple brands like a clothing brand, sneaker store. You know, I now doing private jet charter management as well. Gotcha. So it's a lot of hats. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Yeah. um, (laughs) So we always start off the podcast with the first question just to get the foundation of who you are. Yeah. um, All the things you do. So what would you define as your passion and what's your definition of success? Mm. My passion really is kind of like showing others that it's possible. Mm. That's really my passion. I'll okay. show because at the end of the day, I come from a point. I come from an environment where you know you don't really see anybody doing the things that I'm doing mm. so efficiently, especially you know. Gotcha. So it's kind of like yeah, my passion is definitely helping others, showing people like hey, you can do it no matter your background. Mm-hmm. All it takes is really that 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 want, you know, that Mm. feeling of, you know, I want to do it, I can do it, that self-belief, that, you know, that discipline, you know, so yeah. And definition of success is being able to wake up and knowing that, you know, I can do more, feeling, Mm. being happy within yourself. It's not materialistic, it's not financial, happiness is definitely something that comes from within, Mm. you know, comes up with, I wake up every day, I'm okay with the way I'm living life, Mm. you know. I wake up every day, I'm happy that my family is healthy. Mm. So that's how I think about it. Happiness, my happiness is being able to wake up every day. My family wakes up every day. Mm. Me, I feel happy. Mm-hmm. I love what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, yeah, happiness is within. So it's sure. almost like the, um, not even anything you have, but it's more being able to live your life in the way that you want to live exactly. your life. Exactly. Freedom. That's, I think exactly. I think I mean freedom. Yeah, and there's different types of freedom. Mm-hmm. They could be financial freedom, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so it's kind of like a lot of people believe that you're free once you reach a certain type of um, financial status. Mm-hmm. But in reality, freedom is all within yourself. Freedom mm-hmm. can come from you having that job that you like. Even mm-hmm. though if you're, you, you don't have to be a millionaire, you don't have mm-hmm. to make it six figures, you know, freedom can be... You know what? I have something mm-hmm. that's helping me take care of my needs. Mm-hmm. You know, so I feel like there's different ways of defining freedom for sure. Got you. And so then you talk about you getting up, waking up, doing what you love. Yeah. What would you say that things that you're waking up? What are those things that you're excited about that you're doing that you really know like this is what I love to do every day? Learning. You know, I feel like every day I learn something new. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. I'm okay. I'm a student of life. That's what mm-hmm. I tell people. I'm a student of life. I wake up every day looking to learn something. I'll search mm-hmm. for random facts. I want to. I feel like a lot of people don't really train their brain. Your mm. brain is really that that important part of your body that, you know, once you train your brain, there's a lot there's a lot of things that your brain can battle, you know, yeah. depression, stress, you know, it's kind of like your thinking skill, critical thinking abilities, how mm-hmm. fast you think, how fast you react. So, I've definitely one thing that I'm really excited about when I wake up is definitely learning new things and also mm-hmm. just getting my day started, you know, being around my loved ones. Mm-hmm. You know, that's something that I love, you know, being able I love my job, so you know, going, yeah. going, going to work, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, those are things that I'm definitely happy about when I wake up. That's beautiful. I think you kind of touched on like the foundation. Like yeah. I think your brain is mm-hmm. the foundation for everything. So 100, no doubt. If you can learn, yeah, then you have unlimited possibilities. There you see what I'm saying? So like I look at you mm-hmm. personally, it's all these different hats. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. But it's because your foundations, right? Yep. So mm-hmm. you can go on. Like tomorrow, you could decide you want to be an astronaut. Exactly. I bet you could figure it out yeah. eventually. Uh, exactly. Eventually, I'll figure it out because of some because of I prioritize, like you said, the foundation mm-hmm. of everything that I do is learning. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, a lot of people don't really prioritize learning. You know, okay, cool. Once you're learning, you think about school. You think about this. You think about doing homework. But you can anything. learn exactly mm-hmm. anything for real. But like you know, learning new things, learning new skills, mm-hmm. all those things really just. It enhances your lifestyle mm-hmm. in a sense of, you know, 
your brain is probably the most important part of your body. If your brain, brain shuts down, you're basically, you're done, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of like, and you know, when you, when you put things into that perspective, then you get to think, okay, cool. What am I doing to really train my brain? Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, feeding your brain, knowledge, you know, learn new things. Those are feeding your mm -hmm. brain and it keeps you awake. You know, so it's kind of like, I wake up, first thing I do, I'll check my phone, I'll start look, I'll search up something, or I'll watch an uh, informational video of something mm -hmm. that I'm interested in, mm -hmm. something that I think about. And it came down to a point where like, most of the time when I go to sleep, I'm learning in my sleep. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, yeah. I'm going through, like I'm going through stuff where it's like, okay, cool. I'm doing work in my sleep. So yeah. now when I wake up, I put those things into play into and try to turn those into reality. And I think one of the things you touched on was just learning about things you have interest in. Exactly. I think a lot of people say, man, I don't like school. I don't like learning. Yeah. You're just not in the subject that you exactly. enjoy. Exactly. And so like you talked about the sleep thing. I really relate mm -hmm. to it because a lot of people don't, you know, yeah. at five o'clock, they're turning off whatever they do for a living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like for me, like, Last night, I'm thinking like, man, what are some things I want to learn about you? Like, yeah, yeah. Because I'm I'm invested. This is what I like yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. And so like, I think people miss out on what learning truly is. It's not yeah. a chore. Exactly. It's more of a. It's more of something you get the opportunity to do. Every exactly. Single day. Exactly. And, and so, that comes back to the point where we talked about freedom. You know. Yeah. Doing what you like. That's that's what actual freedom is. Agreed. I've been in a position where like I've started things and I didn't like it, and mm -hmm. I just was just like, why am I doing this? Me too. So it's kind of like once and like. Wise words from Kanye West, the major that she's in don't make no money. It's kind of <laughs> like, and now her friends are looking at her funny. It's yeah. like, realistically, you know, if you go into something where you're not really interested in it, mm -hmm. where you're do, just doing it for a financial, you're just doing mm -hmm. it for a status, at the end of the day, you're not really going to reach that point that Absolutely. you really want to be in. You know, it's kind of like, you really got to think about it like that. I, everything that I do, I make sure I have interest in it. Facts. You know, like when people that I meet up with, people that I talk to, mm -hmm. people, even activities that I do, if I don't have any interest in it, I'm not going to do it because I know at the end of the day, it all comes it all comes down to what you like mm -hmm. and mentally you, how you see different things. Got you. And, yeah. I, and I got to say, that's something that I completely relate to. I think a lot of people relate yeah, to yeah. Mm -hmm. because... We go through a system yeah. when we're, we're kids. We go to school, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and we're forced to do certain things. Yeah. And we can kind of accept them. Like, I know for sure there's points in my life I just kind of accepted. I'm going to go to school, get a job, and yeah. have kids. Like, it was just you kind of accept society. Mm -hmm. um, and I think as an entrepreneur, yeah. somebody I am as well, it's mm -hmm. eventually you go against the norm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, like, for me, I remember, like, man, bump this. If I don't care, I'm not going to do it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. what was your process? Now you you have multiple businesses. You mm -hmm. do all these things. When did the shift start for you? Like, I know you didn't come out the womb just saying, oh, I'm, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. When did you have that shift? I know we all have that shift. We're like, man, mm -hmm. I want to do things my own way. Yeah. For me, that shift really started, I'll probably say, like, high school, you know? Really? Okay. You know, high school is really where I started getting to that mentality where my biggest motivation came from being able to provide for my family. Mm. So a lot of people, it's like, kind of, okay, cool. Where do you get that, that drive. drive from, mm -hmm. that it factor, you know, that want from? And my want was always providing for myself, my family, and my and my future family to come. I realized, yeah. you know, we're already behind. Facts. As as people, you know, Af African Americans, mm -hmm. we're already behind in a sense. Systematically, we're already behind. So now it's kind of like with me, I go into stuff testing the status quo. Mm. I don't. I, you don't wait for nothing. Uh, -uh I don't wait for anything. Mm -hmm. It's more of a like, okay, well, I want it. I'm gonna do it now. I'm. I'll. I'll rather. I tell people the best. Teacher is experience. Mm -hmm. I went into a lot of stuff where I felt, but I realized this this journey called life is not easy. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be knocked down countless amount of times, but if you get back up, you got a chance. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you get back up, you got a chance. No matter how many times you lose, if you get back up, you have a chance. So yeah, I'll definitely say my shift started in high school, mm -hmm. and then going on to like. M middle of high school where I actually took it I mm -hmm. took the chances mm -hmm. that I wanted to take and some mo most of them paid off mm -hmm. which put me in a position to take more chances mm -hmm. I'm always one of those people I tell people if you're scared my like people say scared money don't make money mm -hmm. but you know a lot of people say those regarding to like in a different sense if you of, don't put in the money yeah exactly so it's kind of like if you don't put in that's really what if it you is. You don't invest. You, you, exactly. You have no reason to actually exactly. Work for it. Exactly. It's kind of like when it's, um, when you're in that position where like financially in life, where people are around you are, let's just say somebody's asking for money. Now if they're using your money for their own. Exactly. A lot of them won't work as hard mm -hmm. as they would if it's their money. Facts. So it's kind of like you know, 
I tell a lot of people, put your money where your mouth is. Yep. That's all it is. And that makes, when somebody's losing their own money, they're going to work hard and make Way sure they don't lose it. So, yeah. That's so, it. like, I know for me, um, like, I had multiple entrepreneur journeys. Like, yeah. I want to do wristbands, mm -hmm. put down the whatever thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. And be honest with you, it failed. Mm -hmm. But then I learned completely. Like, I learned the peak of the experience. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. tell people all the time. You know, you can't just try something. You have to fully try it out. Exactly. Because yeah. regardless of what the outcome is, mm -hmm. you get the max amount of growth from it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, for me, I failed multiple businesses yeah, 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 until yeah. I found the business I actually was meant to do. Really? Yeah, yeah. What were some of the businesses that you tried? Like, what were some of the examples that you did that failed? I don't want to hear about this. What, what are the failures? Uh, honestly, I feel like, realistically speaking, yeah. I haven't really done anything that failed. Really? Okay. But, okay, let's just... I've had failing moments. Failing, there we yeah. go. I have failing mm -hmm. moments in there because everything that I've started, those are things that I genuinely wanted gotcha. to do. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really start. I never started anything. It was just like, you know what? It failed. I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. I was well. Something that you can say failed is probably like my regular like jobs, like gotcha. nine mm -hmm. to fives and stuff like that. So that's probably something where like you know those are jobs that I quit because I realized like yo mm -hmm. I didn't have the interest in any of these. Facts. Why am I doing this when? I want to be. I want to be able to work for myself. I want to be able to work on my time. Mm -hmm. So I set myself up to do that. So like all the businesses that I run right now, I really haven't started anything that failed per mm -hmm. se. But I've had like failing moments. moments. I had months where you know there were the numbers weren't looking right. I had yeah. months where I took losses. So it's more of a like I have failing moments than f businesses failures. You know, I feel like I go into stuff with a plan mm -hmm. and I oh and I no matter what it is I execute. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. I've, you know, I had a sneaker business where like. Cool. A failure, a, fail, a failing moment could have been um, COVID. COVID times when COVID started, you know, mm -hmm. couldn't ship out stuff, couldn't really meet up with customers. Mm -hmm. So that whole, those couple of months until like people were able to, you know, kind of ship things out to customers. Mm -hmm. Those those were like failing moments into it. My e-commerce journey, I built online stores that really didn't make any money. Mm -hmm. But again, I didn't give up on that journey. So it's kind of like, I really didn't have, I don't look at any of them as failures. They're all lessons Seems. that I've there are all lessons and things that I've experienced that set me up to do better later on. You know, it's a it's a marathon. It's not a mm -hmm. sprint. You know, this life, this journey called life is literally a marathon. It's never a sprint. There's moments where you need to sprint, but mm -hmm. just like a marathon, you got to catch up on mm -hmm. time sometimes as well. And I think failure is all a failure and success is all about perspective. There like you if you really go completely zoomed in into yeah. one moment, yeah. you can say you're a failure. But then mm -hmm. if you look at the entire thing, it's exactly. like that failure gave me my success. Exactly. So is that really a failure? Is, is that really a failure? Exactly. And that's why reality, when it comes down to business, I tell people, let's stay away from using those that word failure. Yeah. You know, let's use losses. Experiences. Experiences, lessons. lessons. You know, mm -hmm. those are words that, you know, your brain is, your brain is really powerful, powerful mm -hmm. and it's tricky. on something you know so yeah just like you know, a conversation with somebody you know you can word something a certain way and that person can take Turned it off, yeah. exactly that that person can literally take it this this way but instead okay now if you you think about it, okay maybe if i would have said this instead of this mm -hmm. that person would have understood me a little bit better gotcha so, yeah. and to jump i was going to ask some other questions but to jump yeah. to that i think you've had a great way of um, navigating relationships yeah, yeah how have you been able to use like say you're on little humble yeah you were always saying okay i'm gonna use this platform mm -hmm. to even reach higher goals yeah, yeah, yeah how are you able to navigate relationships to um you know elevate yourself and your businesses it's all about it's really all about mentality it's mm -hmm. all about what your goals are mm -hmm. you know my goals were always bigger than soccer i knew for mm -hmm. I, my goal was to become a family name where like I can actually help people when my name is known enough for me to be in a position where yeah. I can help other people. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of where opportunities came up to me. I know a lot of pro soccer players that's kind of like, you know what, I'm playing pro soccer. I don't really want to do anything else. Mm -hmm. So now you've already put, put yourself in this, you mm -hmm. cut off so many other opportunities. You put yourself in this bubble where there's millions of people that's on there, but you don't understand that, you know, you could be that one person that enlightened a, a group of people that's looking at you well like now now i'm seeing other soccer players reach out to me asking for business advice okay mm. cool how because you know soccer isn't really that big of a sport in america yeah but i was able to use that to build a connection because i'll go into a room they'll ask me what do you do oh professional soccer and i was like 
Okay, so interesting. Willing to listen to you They're now. willing to listen mm-hmm. because it's different. This is something that they haven't heard before. Mm-hmm. You know, they heard of ba- professional basketball players investing. They heard of professional basketball players starting companies. Mm-hmm. They heard of all these different things, baseball, football. Mm-hmm. But now you see somebody that's coming from a sport that's a global mm-hmm. You know, more now value, technically. more value mm-hmm. technically. Now you have more of a now you have a bigger you have a bigger impact on the world because now you go into something you let's just say you sh- your business rockets. Mm-hmm. Now you're in the scene where billions of people mm-hmm. that loves this sport that loves this game that you can reach out to. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's kind of like a lot of those things went into play where. I really just didn't want to put myself in the bubble yeah. with everybody else. So I wanted to step out of it. Like I said, like I, I test this, I go against the status quo every mm-hmm. time. Now, um, now the status quo might say, especially in the soccer world or just athletes yeah. in general, you know, make the main thing the main thing. You exactly. feel me? And yeah. so how were you able to, one, be a soccer player? Yeah. Have these multiple businesses mm-hmm. like we just got on here. You're like, I'm doing something all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you manage your time? How do you not only be able to do all these things, but yeah. give your your full self to each one of your journeys? I'll say discipline mm-hmm. and help. Help. Got discipline you. and help. You know, it's mm-hmm. uh, emp- uh, empire isn't built alone. Mm. So I say my self discipline allowed me to bring other people around, and I've and I've helped them grow that self discipline mm. to keep helping us build this empire. Gotcha. So I definitely say like me man like my time my time management skills has been something where like I'm very proud of regarding mm-hmm. like this entrepreneurship journey because yeah. a lot of people they'll get to that certain point in life where it's just like oh, I don't have to be on time I'm this mm-hmm. that ego gets to you mm-hmm. I realize like what is that gonna get that's not Nothing. doing any good for me in life mm-hmm. you know I could really that those things ruin so many relationships, so many different opportunities. There's definitely things. There's times where like I've had somebody reach out to me, hey, would you like to, would you like me to mentor you in this situation? Where like I'm like mentor, mentor me. Well, you take the information. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. So I'm just like mentor me. It's like automatically that first instinct is yeah. like, what do you mean mentor yeah, me? I don't I really need you to mentor me. But yeah. then you know I sit and think about it. It's like, yo, I don't know anything about this this avenue of business. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about this category of business. You know what? Yeah, I would like for you to mentor yeah. me. You know, it's like sometimes putting your pride to the side, your ego to the side. So many different rooms mm-hmm. and so many different places because now you're learning from somebody else. You know, if somebody, if somebody, um, a friend of mine, I make his definitely, you know, I'm in a better position in life than mm-hmm. they are, but they, they told me something about the trucking business. I have no idea about that. So now he mm-hmm. and that, and that world, he's more valuable than I am because mm-hmm. I don't know anything about it. Mm-hmm. So now, you know what? Yeah, please tell me more. I'll I'll sh- I'll even shadow you. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's kind of like, yeah, being able to be a student. That comes down to what I said. I learn, learn every day. Mm-hmm. You know, being able to become a student of the life in general mm-hmm. is really what, you know, definitely something that I... T- you know, I think that, like, again, it opens you up to all the possibilities. Yeah. Like, it takes a certain type of person... To be humble enough yeah. to say, like, look, yeah. I'm ready to like I know for me, especially with my businesses, like, I know what I'm doing. You feel me? Yeah. And then to like even get feedback from somebody that's not in my business about my business yeah. is wild. Mm-hmm. But then it's also humble enough to know, like, but they may be my consumer. Exactly. So let me at least listen exactly. to what they have to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a it's a humbling experience, but there's also this balancing of like, yeah, I'm still him. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm not gonna let nobody take away exactly. my confidence. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And so kind of going back you know, when you first started your entrepreneurial journey, mm. um, you know, you started your sneaker yeah. sneaker business. I bet you were into sneakers before to even have the idea. Exactly. Yeah. How did you then go from sneakerhead mm-hmm. to then businessman with the sneakers? What was <laughs> yeah. that process like? It was kind of like the prop. It came from, you know what, me doing it because I love sneakers, mm-hmm. you know? And then I realized how big the market is. Yeah. I realized, okay, cool. At that point, fashion was just getting bigger. You know, mm-hmm. people are starting to buy. I'm seeing people spending Five hundred dollars, and then yeah, it's wild. The influence of celebrities mm-hmm. came into play. Now it's like you know social what social media marketing, social media yeah. marketing, social media um, perspectives. Yeah. You know, when I say that, it's like somebody could literally be sleeping on the floor, but all they need is one trip to an island, and now they can look like they're millionaires. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like perception is crazy. Exactly, yeah. perception is crazy, especially nowadays. So, just talking about a lot of those things, it really. It really puts me in a position where, you know, I, I really just think about stuff like, okay, well, what? how big is the market mm-hmm. and how can I impact it? How can I make more out of what I'm doing? Mm-hmm. So, like, I went from a sneakerhead to, you know, to transitioning 
business minded. Mm-hmm. How can I make money from this? It's cool. I'm doing it because I love it. A lot of people do stuff because they love it. That don't mean you're making money from it. That's a fact. You know, I did it because I wanted to show people, you know what, yo, you can, their happiness in fashion, their happiness in liking something, their happiness in shoes, you know, and then going on to it, the business aspect, that switch was kind of like, you know what? Let me make connections. Let me reach mm. out to these people that are on TV every day. Yeah. These people that are doing concerts and stuff. You know what? Let's reach out to them and then see how I can, where I can fit in. Mm-hmm. You know? I, give value to them before you get Exactly. Yeah. I tell people, find a category. If you can bring value. With all my business partners, I know I bring a certain value to them where it's kind of like mm. that youthful, that youth. Yep. That knowledge of the new age of business, mm-hmm. you know, that knowledge of social media, that knowledge of, you know, marketing different type of things, how to reach the consumer, how to reach the younger consumers, how to reach the older consumers, everything, you know. I bring that new age mm-hmm. to them that they really don't know. You know, somebody can be somebody can be used to that old age of business, like, you know, going into the private jet charter business. Yeah. You know, they're used to the typical, oh yeah, older let's do yeah. Yeah, always let's reach out through email. But now me, I'm mm-hmm. like, you know what? Let's show people this lifestyle on social media really? and make them crave it, mm-hmm. you know, make them want it more. So now it's a different thing where it's kind of like, you know, you don't really see a lot of people owning private jets. A lot of them, the owners, they're not on social media. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, but they have their own way of doing business, which is, you know, word to mouth, emails. Mm-hmm. But I'm Nobody's like, doing it like you. Exactly. Nobody's doing it like me. You know what? Let's show these people the lifestyle. Let's show these people how to book this type of thing. Okay, let's give people opportunities to get a little t- like little stuff like that, you know. So I feel like, yeah, that's really, that's really where my brain always, my brain always go like, you know what, what, how can we do more? Mm-hmm. How can we reach more people? Gotcha. Yeah. And I think I relate to a lot as somebody who's a speaker yeah. with different businesses. Yeah. And I got the baby face. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like mm-hmm. my value. I don't shy away from it. Exactly. Like some people will say, oh, well, you don't have years in the game. Yeah. But that's also what nobody else has. Exactly. Nobody else has my mindset. Yeah. Nobody else has my perspective. Mm-hmm. But I think the aren't able to use that in their selling proposition mm-hmm. is they have this, but they aren't confident in it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They have it, mm-hmm. but they're not willing to say, look, this is what I bring to the table. Yeah. How do you, like, you You started this in high school. Mm-hmm. You feel me? A lot of people are still shy. They don't even want to be themselves around people yeah, in high yeah. school. How do you develop the confidence to to understand your value? I feel like for me, I'm, I've am i been confident my whole life. You know, I feel like I'm coming from a family where, you know, I've, I've grown I've grown up around a lot of successful men, mm. you know, a lot of successful men and women, you know, gotcha. a lot of prideful people as well. You know, a lot of people being West African, like we we're already prideful people. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like your family dynamics, the things that you see growing up. Mm-hmm. So that I've all, I've always been confident my whole life, you know. So it's kind of like confident and always respected because of my family. Mm-hmm. So now going into those things, now moving to a whole new country mm-hmm. where you're kind of like, you know what? I don't really know anything here. You know, being able to, you know, whip, still have that confidence mm-hmm. came from, you know, just me. me seeing it. Yeah, yeah, me seeing it, me seeing the world for what it really is. It was kind of like, yo, you're going to, at a young age, I knew life ain't life wasn't mm-hmm. easy. So, you know, life wasn't easy, but you can make it easier by take everything day by day, not letting a lot of things, like, distract you or, like, block you from your own blessings. Hmm, that's interesting. And I relate to it because I have a lot of, not even mentors, but like yeah. family members. Like uh-huh. right now, I'm sitting in my grandfather's institute. Yeah, he's writing, writing a bunch of books. Mm-hmm. He speaks across the country. Yeah, and sometimes I reflect, like, man, his inspiration is what developed confidence in my yeah, life. Exactly. And so mm-hmm. My question is, and seeing if it connects. Yeah. Would you say you kind of brought up how you want to inspire people to know that they can do it? Yeah. Would you say that your luxury—I don't want to say luxury, but your mm-hmm. privilege that you had those people to inspire you—is that like your give back to the world? The fact that you had it. Yeah. You want to do that back to them? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I feel like. It all starts with one person. Mm-hmm. It all starts with one person. All it takes is one person in your family's upbringing to change the dynamics of everything. Mm-hmm. You know, me hearing stories of my great great grandfather. Mm-hmm. You know, for my family from times to past. You know, but a lot of people don't know this. I'm related to Mansa Musa. Really? Yeah. So it's like well, you that know, makes me, sense. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like me hearing stuff about my family mm-hmm. that puts so much pride in you. Where you're just like, man, mm-hmm. I'm. You know. 
I have that in me. Wow. I have that in me. So it's kind of like, you know, hearing stuff about your family from past times, generations to go. And then now me growing up, seeing an impact that my grandfather has made in the, in Africa. Mm -hmm. My dad has made, you know, brothers, cousins, mm -hmm. uncles, you know, the impacts that they have made, seeing all of those things. I'm just like, that puts a certain type of pride in it me. Does. And then it's kind of like, okay, now what are you going to do with that pride? Mm -hmm. You know, a a prideful man with no actions is nothing. Nope. You know, so it's kind of like you can be, you can be You're just a talker. You're just point. a talker at mm -hmm. that point. So it's like a man that just talks and no action is a man with no worth. Mm. So it's kind of like, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. So I feel like, yeah, that's it definitely, we definitely relate in that sense for yeah. sure. That's my way of, you know, showing people, you know what? All it takes is one person in your family to make a difference for generations to come. Yep. You know? So it's kind of like my family's history goes way back. Now, let's just say my grandfather stopped at where he stopped, where he didn't... You would never have your opportunity. Exactly. I would never have this opportunity. My dad wouldn't have the opportunity that he had. So now, I'm, I want to be that person where, you know what, generations to come. Now, it's more of a, like, I'm impacting more than just my family. I can impact the world, the world. with social media. Mm -hmm. You know, I can impact millions by showing them, you know what, all it takes is you believing in yourself, you knowing the system... To make something work for yourself. That's beautiful. And yeah. to hear that Mansa Musa is family relative. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's wild. Like for me, where it hit home for me is I remember the first time I went to Egypt for the yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah, okay. I went to Egypt for the first time and saw literally the beginning of civilization. Yeah. It's people that look like me. Mm -hmm. Like that's the stuff that I carry every time yeah, I'm doing yeah, my yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like not only does it inspire me, but then mm -hmm. it's like a hundred, two hundred years, they're gonna hear my story. They're gonna exactly. hear your story. Exactly. Like, Bump it, I can do it. Yeah. You feel me? So mm -hmm. it's 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 this infinite source of inspiration if yeah, you know your history. Exactly, hundred percent. I think it's amazing. But kind of going back into your second business, you well, the business after the sneaker business, you had yeah. your um, motions apparel, correct? No, I started off with the e-commerce. E-commerce business. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that one, and then tell me about the um, motions apparel. Yeah. After so this is so the e-commerce business kind of like online. You know, there's yeah. so much money to be made in the world. Mm -hmm. You know that this this right here. This right amazing here, asset. exactly. This is amazing. People mm -hmm. don't people take this for granted by you know just using mm -hmm. it for gossiping, just you know. Mm -hmm. Some people are consumers. Some people exactly, are producers. exactly. Mm -hmm. That's really what it is. Mm -hmm. So I chose to be a producer instead of mm -hmm. a consumer. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like okay, cool with the e-commerce. But there's so much money in the world. Mm -hmm. There's so many. I can reach different countries. Mm -hmm. I can reach villages. I can reach so many people. No with, limit. Exactly. There's yeah. no limit to what I can do online. So the e-commerce business is kind of like you know what. I saw a niche that was popping mm -hmm. where you're taking products that you never see. Mm -hmm. You're building something. You're building a brand behind it, and you're just marketing it, and, sh and it's being sent out to people. And you're making money without ever touching the product. Mm -hmm. Like, that's blasphemy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, like, you tell your parents about that, they'll be like, that's impossible. Exactly. Mm -hmm. they'll, and, uh, and they're aged. Now, they're, they don't understand. There's people making... Eighty million dollars from sitting in front of a screen, Twitch streaming. Yeah. So it's like they don't. Our parents and stuff like that. They don't really know how much money is out there to be made right now. So they really think a lot of stuff we're we're doing is really isn't really beneficial. It's a, sense, waste, of it's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Gaming. I know a lot of gamers that's making millions, and their parents told them years ago, stop gaming, get out the house. If he if they would have left the house, they probably wouldn't be in the position they are now. Yeah. So yeah, I just you know, I knew this online online thing was gonna be big, mm -hmm. was gonna be so big eventually. Mm -hmm. So you know, I did a little bit of research in the e-commerce journey where you know I learned about different type of ad mm -hmm. sourcing, you know, different products, how to search up for this product, mm -hmm. the statistics behind different things, you know, where it's coming from, how fast am I gonna ship it, mm -hmm. how quick can I build a website, all these little things, mm -hmm. you know, so. That's Which really it, isn't anything with the internet these days. Yeah. So it's just about being willing to put yourself out there. That's it. it. That's mm -hmm. literally it. So it's kind of like, yeah, just going into that, um, I just realized, okay, cool, this is a market that I can dominate because yeah. I have such a, I have a likable personality, mm -hmm. you know, and then I can market things well, you know, I'm a good salesman as well. So mm -hmm. that's a market that I saw and I saw people making money. It's more of a lot of people see somebody making money and be like, oh yeah, no, they're lying. Mm -hmm. Or they're special, I can't do that. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They're special, I can't do it. But in reality of it, there's nothing special about it. Mm -hmm. But people don't understand the rich is rich because they're willing to take so many more chances. Mm -hmm. That's really what it is. Life is all about taking those risks and literally like knowing, you know what? Being okay with failing. You mm -hmm. know, knowing, hey, I might fail, but hey, mm -hmm. if I fail, I'm gonna get back up and do it again. Thanks. Or if I fail, I'm going to take that as a lesson mm -hmm. and put that towards something else, you know? And I like to always say, 
when it comes to risk, at least I know what would have happened. Exactly. Like, I'm not going to live my life being 60 years old. Man, what if I would have started that e-commerce business? Yeah. I would have started that podcast. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to live my life on the deathbed knowing, well, this is what it was going to be. Exactly. I tried. There's times where, like, I've definitely had that what if feeling. There's yeah. investments that I missed out on mm. where I was like, what if I would have just put this amount yeah. of money into this mm-hmm. at this point instead of, you know, neglecting or like thinking, you know what, I can't do it. Mm-hmm. So it's like everybody have those what if moments. Mm-hmm. It's all about limiting those moments mm-hmm. where you're thinking, you know what, okay, cool. Every 10, let's just say I get 10 opportunities. Yeah. If I take at least six of those opportunities, I'm okay with that, yeah. you know? But if not I can perfect. take Exactly, not perfect. But if I can take all 10 and know, you know what, I gave it on my all. I tried everything that came my way. I'm okay with that. And yeah. that's what I tell people, you know. And that's how it is with me. When people come up to me with investment ideas or like little stuff like that, I'm just like, you know what? Okay. I'll look into it. Yeah. It's never no. Yes oh, or yeah. no. Yeah, yes yeah. or no. It's like, I'll look into it. I never just, I, you never hear me say somebody, you never hear me tell people no off mm, the rip. Facts. There's always, I'll look into it or I'll think about it mm-hmm. because, I, because I, I'm the type of person I know. Anything can happen in a world of business. Anything can happen in a world of friendship, relationship, mm-hmm. where, you know what, me going into this, I might have another avenue of impacting somebody else's life. Yep. And the t- I tell people, my whole, the best thing about my journey is my motivation is being able to help people. Mm. That's really what it is. I want to help people. I want to show people, hey, it's possible. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. It's literally possible. We're in the same room. We're in the same you think mm-hmm. and i think one of the things that i'm hearing from you and that i know i've experienced in my life is you see everything as an opportunity yeah like for me like mm-hmm. a lo- another thing people don't know about me is about i take so many calls like yeah. people have ideas mm-hmm. let me listen let me yeah hear you out. exactly i may say no to 80 percent of them yeah but even if it's a no and nothing comes out of it yeah. i might have been inspired from my own idea exactly you know what i'm saying yeah. and so it's just there's no limits to this world. And when you start seeing everything as an opportunity, mm-hmm. when you just start waking up and just realizing, yo, I'm alive today. Exactly. You feel me? Yeah. Um, I think people miss out on ideas because they're not living. They're just accepting. Yeah. Somebody's idea can be that foundation for something that you really want to do. Yeah. There's times where like somebody, but like the, I didn't think I was going to be in the jet business two years yeah. ago. Mm-hmm. I didn't think I was going to be in the jet business last year. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like me taking the time and hearing somebody out. Or like hearing somebody's idea of something mm-hmm. in my head where I was kind of thinking like, okay, well, okay, maybe I can do this with something bigger. Mm. You know, so that's really, that's really what it is. Facts. Yeah. Like I'm always about like, like I'll see ideas online or yeah. business ideas. Mm-hmm. Um, I think what makes you special and probably me special in the own way yeah. is the fact that we're always trying to put our own spin on it. Exactly. Like you yeah. see the, the, um, the, the business you're doing right now with mm-hmm. the Jets, mm-hmm. okay, let me use social media. Yeah. Like, when I do certain things online where I use my social media, whatever it may be, mm-hmm. how can I make this in that realm where I can replicate the success yeah. but then take it a step further? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's what's going to set you up for success exactly, in the yeah. long run. Um, mm-hmm. I would love to hear about your um your clothing brand. Yeah, yeah. How did that begin? And um also, what is the meaning behind it? So, my clothing brand is really one of those things where I've thought about it for years to mm-hmm. come. Like I said, like, sneaker head. I'm into fashion. I love styling. I love mm-hmm. dressing up. So, it's really just, like, going into that. I thought about starting a sneaker. I thought about starting, like, my clothing business mm-hmm. two years ago. But reality of it is two years ago, if I would have started, it probably wouldn't be. You weren't ready. I yeah. wasn't ready. Yeah. Time, God's timing. You ain't lying. Literally, God's mm-hmm. timing. I tell people, the man above will guide you. To, when, you when it's your time... It's your time. Mm. When it's your time, it's your time. And people people fail to realize that. You know, I don't tell I tell everybody around me that my journey started in high school. Yeah. Your journey can start next week. Mm-hmm. You know? There's a lot of people in life where their their wealth came in their thirties. Their wealth came in their forties. A lot of people were broken until mid twenty five. So it's like you never really know. God's timing is everything. You never know. So like if I if I would have started my single, my clothing business two years ago. 100% I know I wouldn't be in a position that, wow. I, yeah, and that I am. If I would have started a couple years, like last year, beginning of last year, probably wouldn't be where I am now. So it's really, once you have that, once it's your time, mm-hmm. you have that in, you have that in cre- credible feeling, mm-hmm. that drive in you, and you that's like, you know what? I need this. Yeah, I want to do time. this. It's time. It's yeah. time. It's that feeling. You just know. It's something that can't, that you can't intuition. stop thinking about. It's, it's intuition. It. Mm-hmm. It's like everything is just there. It's going to click. You know, so going into it, I really, the whole, my brand is called Motion Apparels. Mm-hmm. I took this from 
society, what society is right now. Like call me Mo, it's kind of like that wordplay of motion is really Ah, I didn't even peep. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people a lot of people didn't realize yeah. that. So, you know, motion apparels come from like my name being Mo, and then motion is something that people have been saying. Being able to and my thing is cool. Why not? Well, I'm every time I post a picture, people are saying motion. You know, I, yeah. I met little baby one time mm -hmm. and then he said, Oh yeah, you got motion. Yeah. After that I was like, Oh yeah. Did you even introduce him to the brand yet? Yeah, yeah, okay. I did. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so exactly. Yeah. So this was really yeah, so it was like I introduced him to the brand and he was like, Oh yeah, you really oh yeah, you got motion. <laughs> so it was like once something like that was said to me, I was like, Okay. Yeah. This is this is it. Yeah. It's the one. There's you know, there's nothing else to it. There's the one for sure. So yeah. Going into that and the meaning behind it is a lot of people wanna um relate motion to success or financial mm. wealth, financial independency yeah. or wealth. I relate it to taking care of what you need to, mm. taking care of your belongings, taking care of what you have, your responsibilities in life. If you have to pay, if paying rent on time, yeah. you have motion to yeah. me. You know? Taking care of your kids, you have motion. Like take people care of your, may have 100,000 followers, but they ain't taking care of what needs to be. You exactly. Don't, you don't really got motion. You don't really got motion. Yeah. You know? You got, you got these followers... That's fine, but you don't really have motion. Mm -hmm. But in reality, of it, motion is being able to take care of your responsibilities. Mm. And that's why I tell people it's not wealth. You know, having money is motion for mm. sure. Yeah. But again, I know a lot of people that have motion, but don't have no motion. Wow. And that's really what it is, mm -hmm. you know? You I know what you're saying. Exactly. You know, I know a lot of people that have mo that have money. They're not taking care of their families. They're not taking care of their kids. Mm -hmm. And then you have self-motion, but you don't really have motion worth mm. people appreciating. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of like there's so many le there's so many different levels to this word motion. There's so many different ways you can take it mm -hmm. that it makes it perfect for a brand mm, like because it. now I'm selling a lifestyle. I'm selling something where it's not just a name. You know, it's something where like people can relate to. Mm -hmm. You know, all over the place. You know, like my first my first drop motion motion university, mm. and then that was that was oh, okay. So yeah. you're implementing it exactly. I'm implementing different things when it comes down to. You know, different things. You know, Valentine's Day, mm. I did motion, less less emotion, more motion. Mm. So it's like everything that's that, tough. Exactly. Everything yeah. that I'm doing, I'm implementing a certain lifestyle into it. And you're also branding yourself on exactly, another level. Exactly, exactly. So it's kinda like, yeah, it's like that's really that's really where my whole brand came from. Man, I after you explained it, that was that was tough. <laughs> but I also say I really related to you like you saying like God's timing. Yeah. Like for me, one of the things I've realized as a reflector now, like yeah. I'm I'm in the process of writing my own book about mm -hmm. my life. That's dope. And I'm really like reflecting on my life. Yeah. And you think about motion, mm -hmm. motion is a perspective. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And so exactly. I look at when I was in fifth grade yeah. and we had a guest speaker and I would raise my hand and ask a um you know a different type of question. Yeah. That was motion for this. Yeah. You feel me? Exactly. I just didn't know it was motion. Right, yet. right. And so like I really like love hearing you say mm -hmm. all those things because all those Failures, yeah. failure moments yeah, yeah. were preparing you for most of the Exactly, exactly. Preparing you for all the different endeav endeavors. So, exactly. to anybody listening, you know, I think if you have the right perspective, you got motion. Yeah, like exactly. As long yeah. as you're able to take everything in your life mm -hmm. to prepare you for whatever God's time exactly. it is, you got motion to whatever you're meant to That's do. That's really what it is. You know, I feel like I've been in a position where a lot of people can, a lot of people say it's luck. Yeah. A lot of people can mm -hmm. say it's luck. Luck is, is all about perspective. Yeah. You know, you can say luck what it is, but. If I got lucky, that was God putting me in no, yep. in that position. Okay. Anything you're not prepared for. Nope. You don't get anything you're not prepared for. You can for. get it and fumble it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, me me telling people, okay, everything that I've gotten, I didn't really fumble. I've never fumbled yeah. any of those things because in inside, I was already prepared for it. Mm. You know? I prepare myself. I go into a lot of stuff. I do months of research. Like I said, years of planning where, you know what? I've thought about so many different names mm -hmm. with a clothing brand. Nothing clicked. Yep. Nothing gave me that, yes, that feeling where it's kind of like, oh, yeah, Most. I can make an empire from this. Mm -hmm. But once I had that once I had that thought, motion apparels, boom, I got that feeling mm -hmm. inside that I've, that I've had mm -hmm. previously with my other businesses, you yep. know? Once you get that feeling, you just know you have gold. Yep. You no, know? I know. I know. I'll tell you. I'll tell yeah. you a story. So I have a um another page I run on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Has about twenty three thousand followers. Okay. On. 
averages two million views a month. That's um, dope. I did it. I did ten k in yeah. like five months. That's amazing. Bro. People would come to me like, "Man, you got lucky, man." Whatever. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always tell people luck. Mm -hmm. There's no real such thing as luck nah. because you can go on the gym and mm -hmm. shoot half court shots. Yeah. And you make one, but if you shot a thousand shots to get one, exactly, you created the luck. Exactly. And so, like for me, I was on social media for four years, no, no success. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then. Mm -hmm. I almost told my people, so I was like, watch what happens in six yeah, months. Because exactly. I just knew mm -hmm. from years of preparation. Yeah. And so it's like, it's all perspective. You feel me? And so like no people, doubt. I, I, don't, I don't really like anybody calling any of my stuff love. Yeah, exactly. Because I earned it. There's abundance in this world of opportunities. Exactly. So like, you know, you should never really look at anything as luck because no. you had something to do. Unless you hit the lottery, mm -hmm. you still there had you to buy the lottery ticket. Exactly. And then also, God wanted you to win that lottery. Yeah. So it's kind of <laughs> like, nothing is really luck. It's like, I, I deserve this. And then what you going to do with it? If it's luck, what you going to do with exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. Now, if you get something and like you fumble it, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, okay, cool. Maybe you weren't ready at that time. Maybe you'll get something. But there's up. a bigger picture for exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. There's a bigger picture. And again, things fell in my lap that I've, you know, got into that I've ended up stopping. Mm. But it's not like, it's, it wasn't a failure. It's like, okay, cool. I realized I wasn't ready for this opportunity. I realized this is something that I can't obtain from mm -hmm. this moment. So, I'll put a pause on it maybe later on i'll go back to it. relationships people take breaks from relationships and they sometimes they come back stronger than ever you ain't lying you never really know you know so and i think it's about relinquishing the need to know everything exactly yeah. i think a lot of people i think as human beings mm -hmm. we're so curious we want to know everything yeah we want to say i know what happens after we die i want i say i know what happens when mm -hmm. it comes to success like i think some of the wisest people understand they don't know like yeah, yeah. you are somebody that's always learning because you mm -hmm. understand i don't yeah. know everything mm -hmm. if you ever try to act like or feel like you know everything yeah that's when you're limiting yourself. 100%. Like the people that say, you got to get a job, you got to go to college, you got to do this, this, and this. Exactly. They think they know. Exactly. But they limiting themselves to all these possibilities when they heart. They may know they're supposed to be doing something else. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. So, a lot of people that tell you stuff like that, they're living a life of regret already. Yep. Because they're seeing so many different things. Now they're just like, you know what? Maybe this worked for me, even though it's not what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It worked for you. You try that out. Yep. Instead of, you know what? I failed at doing this. I re position that I, I'm happy mm -hmm. that I'm able to provide for you. I'm happy that I'm able to do this and that. But if I was to do something else, I would do it. Mm. You know, so it's kind of like a lot of people are living this life of regret where if they were to give somebody that advice, okay, cool. I didn't take this when I had the chance. I didn't do this opportunity when I had the chance. It would make such an impact yeah. than trying to direct them into the path that you took. That's a fact. Yeah. And so it almost... Like, even though maybe they regret it, really, it's yeah. not a regret because, mm -hmm. again, there's this ultimate person above us yeah. knowing the full plan. Yep. So, if you had a life of regret and you tell somebody not to do that, you were meant, you were meant to regret so you could tell that person for whatever they're meant to do. So, yeah, I think yeah. that's powerful. Exactly. Um. So, you have the, we went through with all the other businesses. Mm -hmm. Take me through the process. Like, it sounds something like almost like when, when I heard about you doing the private jets, I'm almost like, man, how in the world? <laughs> could you, like, like, I know the process of running that type of business, honestly, you gotta find you got you gotta build that network. Mm -hmm. You know, a pro, owning a jet is a, it's expensive. Yeah, but if you have the people that already own jets around you, mm -hmm. or people that can guide you into finding ways to minimize the expenses, mm -hmm. that also helps out. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like you know. I, I flew private a lot. Mm. So it's kind of like I flew private a lot. And I don't put my whole life on social media because sure. like I'm not doing this for any of you guys. I'm doing it for myself, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of like I flew private a lot. So, you know, meeting people that flew private as well, you know, we relate, we talk. Mm. So it's like, you know, met somebody that was kind of like big into the jet scene where they actually was like, you know what? I want to bring in, I want I want you to come into the business. Mm. I'm like, why? That was like, Tell your already successful businessman. I was like, how so? And you didn't even tell none of them. I didn't tell them. Yeah. They don't know anything about me. I was just like, I could tell by the way you walked into that room. Mm -hmm. And I could tell you're young. You have that young, you have that youthful energy in you, but you're also wise beyond your age. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hearing that from somebody that I've never even met told me everything that I needed to know. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it. I want to learn from you. Mm -hmm. You know, take the time out, shadow the man learned everything I could learn and now that put me in a position to be able to start my own thing and with their help of course but now 
reality of it, I've been saving up a lot of money mm -hmm. throughout my other business, and now it's kind of like, you know you what? The opportunity. I got, yeah. I got the opportunity, yeah. you know? So it's not like something that just happened. You know, I, I had it without even knowing what exactly, you're preparing for. Prepare without even knowing what I'm preparing for. Mm -hmm. So exactly, I had a bunch of stuff set aside where it's kind of like, you know what? I'm going to go into something big and eventually. Mm -hmm. my Mentally, I thought it was always going to be like a real estate thing. Really? Yeah. Okay. So and then so, I mean, you always do something different. Exactly, you mm -hmm. always do something different. Mm -hmm. So that's really what I was preparing for. But again, now I'm doing both. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's kind of like, yeah, that's really how that something like that starts. Wow. You know, you gotta have the capital. Mm -hmm. You gotta know the system. Mm -hmm. You gotta know the do's and the don'ts. Mm -hmm. You gotta know, okay, cool, who to reach out to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the foundation, the confidence, mm -hmm. and then the rest in between. Yeah. Ain't nothing but book notes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's exactly. just learning the way of the land. Yeah. And so I think, like, again, there's unlimited possibilities yeah. for you. And so I, that's why I'm not even surprised you're able to do these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have that foundation. And mm -hmm. it's something I relate to because, like, a lot of people don't get this opportunity to feel it. Yeah. But those moments you talk to somebody for two minutes, you're like, I can see it. Exactly. Like, yeah. I get, I'll get, i be at the airport and mm -hmm. talk to somebody. Yeah. I know you're doing something mm -hmm. great. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. I just know. And it's it's from years of preparation. Yeah. Um, almost like your aura. Exactly. Yeah. And people... Exactly. There's some people that are so simple, simple minded that they can't even process something having value like that. Like, yeah, yeah. there's an aura and confidence from mm -hmm. me just being bold enough to get up on stages yeah. and work out business deals and do different things that you also have. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, again, that motion comes from like years of preparation and yeah. confidence that isn't physical. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have something that isn't physical. You have yeah. a presence. Mm -hmm. um, A presence yep. mm -hmm. that people acknowledge without exactly. you even having the same. That's really what it is, bro. It's really just like, and like I said, foundation. People are some people are so like they're in this they're in this bubble mentally mm -hmm. that they can't really think out of what they've been told, what they've been told, mm -hmm. and what they see in their environment. Mm -hmm. But again, social media is really one of those things that's helped a lot of people. It has a negative. Exactly, mm -hmm. it's helped a lot of people step out of that mental mental block or like mental prison mm -hmm. where it's kind of like oh nobody in my community has ever done this nobody in my family has ever done this now I can't S social media has shown people that you know what you can do it mm -hmm. There's, social media has put you in touch with people that you'll never meet if it so wasn't for social media but again social media has a negative where it's so much like there's so much stuff that goes on. There's a lot of people that have self doubt. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that feel like they're failures. Mm -hmm. But I mean, yeah, I know people. There's a thing that's there's a thing that I always say to people. A lot of people want to be millionaires when they're 21, 22, mm -hmm. 23, 24, whatever it is. But you gotta think about it. You're looking. There's a lot of financially irresponsible people. Yeah. Somebody could have five thousand dollars to their name. They have an expense of two thousand dollars. But they rather choose to go spend all that money on trips. Yeah. The social media side. And now they come down to their last dollar and now they're trying to run up run up their bag for rent. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, you're stressing when in reality you don't really know what this person is going yeah, through you don't. outside of the social media. Mm -hmm. When they put their phones down every day, what are they actually doing? So, yeah, I tell people, like, bro, we're literally sitting here. My phone is blowing up because I'm literally sit Like, bro, we're sitting here and I'm making money while we're talking, bro. Yeah. It's like, look, look at this. E-com just it's Literally, e-com is going crazy. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, what? My whole thing is, I want to be able to put my phone down and make, and money. make money. I don't care. I don't care to look at my phone. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm okay with you know what my phone is and here. You're not posting the the you're not posting that all the time. Exactly. Like I, I don't like personally. <laughs> I'll say from you. I don't I don't see you posting like money results. I've never posted anything like that. It's kind of like but like now so many people are like contacting me. It's like, bro, can you please teach me? Yeah. Can you do this and that? Now it's kind of like now I'm in a sense of you know what. I'm debating. Do I want to show people these yeah. things? You know, because a lot of people already, they see the success mm -hmm. from just like the lifestyle that I live. Mm -hmm. You know, now it's kind of like, cool. People, people are asking me, okay, cool. We want, we want to, we want a discord. We want a community where we want to learn from you. Where we want to be able to talk to you mm -hmm. where you can come in and drop and give us knowledge mm -hmm. every day and then we'll pay. So now it's kind of like, cool. I'm doing all these things. I never post a result. I've been doing this for three and a half years now. Yeah. I've never posted. It wasn't about the love. From exactly. Yeah. It wasn't about the love. It wasn't about the, it wasn't about people coming to me, people respecting me. It was all about me putting myself in a position to provide for myself and, I think, and my family. I think what people don't recognize um, with your life and your yeah. story is, and this is the, the big messaging behind Root of Everything, it's yeah. 
the love for yourself and yeah. what you do. Mm -hmm. The love for yourself, then what creates the purpose is this what is then what creates the purpose yeah. and what increases the impact, the results. 100%. And so like with you, if it was the flip side, if it was always about the results, yeah. the moment you got that first success, you're posting it. Exactly. And now the, the, the shift is focused on showing people what you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people can have short term success. Yeah. Like a lot of people with you, they would have stopped at a certain point. Mm -hmm. But because I think you just love being an entrepreneur. Exactly. I think there's always gonna be this long term game with you. Yeah. Cause there's always something else. Like for me, exactly, yeah. it's always like what's next? Mm -hmm. Cause it's not Yo, I got here. Everybody look at me. Exactly. It's no, I just want to keep doing this. Exactly. I love it. I love learning new things. Mm -hmm. I love going into different businesses. I love meeting new people. Mm -hmm. It's like I tell people like, cool. The root, every entrepreneur has to be somewhat of a people person. Of 100%. You have to be a people person. You know, there's people that get to, that gets big mm -hmm. and then they literally, their ego, their pride takes over. Mm. So now you're at, a, you're at that position where you're basically like, me personally, I've never had that feeling. Hmm. I don't look at people and be like, you know what? You're, you're broke. I don't do that. <laughs> you know what? I don't Which do that. people in your position would people, do that. People in my yeah. position do that. But again, you know, I understand, you know what? Anything can happen. I could lose everything tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But again, the foundation of my success is all here. Mm. It's all mentally. If I lose it all Beautiful. tomorrow, I know you can make that back. I can make that yeah. back. I can work ten times mm. harder and make that back. It's gonna take longer, yeah. but I can do it. Mm, I yeah. respect that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we kind of talked about the social media part. Like people yeah. are seeing people have this success. Maybe they have these pictures, and it's yeah, not yeah. reality. Um, and you've had lots of success. Yeah. yeah. But could you kind of talk about what are some of the things that you deal with um, on a daily basis, being an entrepreneur or whatever just going on as a person that you deal with that people don't see? Bro, life. Mm. Life as a whole. You know, life comes Life comes with so many different options. People don't understand this, you know. Being able to... Uh, there's downsides to to yeah. wealth. There's a lot of downsides People to don't wealth. Think about that. People don't think about that. People think, okay, cool, money buys happiness. Money buys you a lot of stuff that can make you happy. But again, your relationships mm. and any and the things that's outside of money really. Mm. Once you have that with money, you you found true happiness. Yeah. So it's kind of like a lot of stuff that I go through. You know, there's times where I'm stressed. There's times where I, I go through depression. Mm -hmm. Depression is definitely one of those things that I try to tell. I try to talk to different entrepreneurs about because it happens to us. Mm -hmm. And a lot of stuff like that, a lot of our depression can come down to the people around us. Yeah. You know, somebody's consistently hitting you up, asking you for money, where you're kind of like, now you're just like, okay, cool. You're just using me. Yeah. What's so, this relationship? I thought this was something else. Exactly, yeah. you know? So different things like that, you know, financial, financial, financial freedom can come into a lot of negative energies around you. Mm -hmm. Somebody can come into your life be, just because of the money, yep. you know? So it's like different different things like that. So it's like a lot of I deal with a lot of those things. Mm. Stress, family. A lot of people is lonely at the is lonely at the top. Like I know deep down, a lot of people that I'm friends with, they don't like bring me around mm -hmm. because of like the effect that it has. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like it reminds them. Okay, cool. Where I gotta get back on my stuff. I, exactly. Yeah. A lot of people don't like that. Or. I come in and I steal the spotlight from them. In mm. reality, like I don't care about any of those stuff. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's natural. It's na yeah, it's yeah. kind of some of those. It's yeah. really natural. Like I'll go into I'll go into parties. I'll go into. You'll be the name of the party. Exactly. Yeah. It's like oh my god, Mo's here. What's up, Mo? It's like and a lot of stuff. People don't bring me around and stuff like that because of the simple fact they they don't want everything to be about me. Mm. But in reality, I don't make. I will come into stuff. I don't talk about my business. I don't do anything. I like to. It's like majority ninety ninety nine percent of the time I go into a room, people that know me. They're going to be like, oh, my God, I'm so proud of you, little stuff like yeah. that. It's kind of like I don't go in there, you know, with the expectation that that happens, mm -hmm. but I know it's going to happen eventually. Yeah. So it's like I go – so it's like, like I said, I do a lot of stuff. Like I travel alone. I do a lot of stuff alone. And it's not more of a like I want to do it alone. But, again, the reality of it is once you get to a certain point, it's lonely. Mm -hmm. and it's not lonely because of you. It's lonely because of other people's self-doubt, yeah. you know, them not believing themselves, them being undisciplined enough mm – -hmm. Envy, you know, so yeah, yeah, I deal with those are things that those are the downside of this that I deal with a lot of the times, you know. Would you say that you're almost numb to the to the the feedback? Like, would you say you're numb to the like for one of the problems I have in my life, yeah, is like people say, Jamar, that was so inspirational, you helped me so much, yeah, and I don't, I don't feel it no more, yeah. Um, would you say that you're like numb to that, like you don't 
almost you can't even appreciate it as much as you used to. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's I hear it a lot. So it's like it depends on what it is, though. Yeah, that's true. Now it depends on what it is. Kind of like somebody can somebody randomly can be like, "Oh my God, I appreciate you, y'all. I'm so proud of you." Mm-hmm. It's like, thank yeah. you. You know, thank you. I, you know, I understand. Thank you. But it's like three years ago when somebody said it, it meant so much more. Yeah. Now you hear it so much, it's kind of like it's normalized. Yeah. But again, it's kind of like okay, cool. If somebody comes to me and say, "I've been watching you. You've been inspiring me." You inspire me to do this. You inspire me to try to do this. Mm-hmm. Now those mean more. I want. I want. I want to be able to. I want you to come to me and say, you know what? I've inspired you to do something. Yep, that's the like. one. And that's my goal mm-hmm. with my with social media, whatever it is. I want people to look at me and be like, yo, he's doing it. You know what? Let me give this a try. And if you come to me and say, yo. Like, yo, if you need any help. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm like, yo, Mm -hmm. if you need any help, I got you. Here's my contact. That right there, that means so much Mm -hmm. more to me than somebody just coming up to me. I'm proud of you, bro. Mm -hmm. Or like, keep doing what you're doing. Like, those, you know, those are so like... It's genuine. It's genuine. Yeah, it's genuine. But again, it's not like, it's normalized because I hear it so many times, Mm -hmm. you know? And I think for me, like, I get it. Like, I'll get great speech or whatever it may be. And it's like... You gotta give me some something more exactly. for me to remember you. For me to exactly, like, like you know? I had like a couple gigs, and I'll get it. Yeah, but then it'll be that one shy girl that come up to me and explain my speech. Yeah, I'm like, oh shit, exactly. Like, whatever you need. Type yeah, thing. exactly. That's really what it is. Yeah. So I think 100%. it's it's important for people on the other side to understand why there's the majority, you yeah. know, deal with certain problems. Yep. But I think there's success problem yeah like i was talking to my therapist i have a therapist mm-hmm. and she was like jamar you gotta understand there's there's fear of success just yeah. as much as there's fear of failure exactly. like exactly there's fear and there's problems on both sides mm-hmm. it's just people don't like to talk about them because yeah. they want to act like they're happy for the mm-hmm. perception exactly um and so i think it was powerful hearing from you you dealt mm-hmm. with the depression you dealt yeah. with the different people mm-hmm. and so i think it's just something people to keep in mind yeah when they're chasing certain things mm-hmm. to understand you know, maybe appreciate that all your friends around you right now are real. Exactly. Like, when you get to that next point in your life, maybe you don't have as many of those things. Yeah. And so I think, like, we wish for things without knowing what we're wishing for. Exactly. You like, for I mean? me, it's like, this whole journey, this whole five years of entrepreneurship journey for me, I had one person ever, like, come up to me. And this happened, like, this month. Really? Like, a couple of days ago. I had one friend come to me and say, hey... I'm ready to change my life. Hmm. I want to shadow you. Mm. I want to come. Of course, like I hang out with this person. Like this is one of my you closest me, friends. Bro. Yeah. This is you got. And I've told all my friends. I've told my friends multiple times. I've set up stuff like private pages that I tell my friends. You know what? Give me a business plan. Convince me to give you money. Yeah. You know what? Convince me to give you money. I have got you. No, there's nothing to it. I had one friend come to me the other day and he said, "Yo." I need to up my life. I need to be. Able, I need to put myself in a position to provide for my family. You know, I want to be able to shadow you. Of course, we hang out all the time. But again, me and you hanging out, I'm putting business aside to spend time with you. It's genuine but again, time. it's genuine time. But if you want to actually, he's like, yo, I want to. I want to hang out. I want to shadow you. I want to see what you do day to day. Mm-hmm. I want to learn. Almost an intern. We've been damn near like four to six years, I believe. Yeah. Never asked me anything like that. So it's like him coming to me and saying that. It means so much more because it's like, mm-hmm. okay, bet. I got you. There's no doubt. We can do this. You can do this for months if you want. Yep. You know, so it's like out of my journey, I had one person ever say something like that. But again, there's so many of my friends that literally spent countless amount of times with me. We hang out. But I'm, and there's oh, people that literally only want to hang out with me when they were when they want to go party and clubbing. You got might have the tab, exactly. whatever it may be. Exactly. So it's kinda of like, cool, you're wasting you're wasting so much time. When you have access. When you have access to mm. my brain. You have access to me teaching you stuff. Okay, you can be like, you know, oh yeah, I can ask some money for I can ask him for money when I need. But when I when I tell you no, how are you gonna react? Mm. So it's kinda like that's also one thing that a lot of people a lot of entrepreneurs a lot of entrepreneurs deal with, telling people no. Me, I've always been this type of person that I'm always willing to help people. So no is something that I hate saying to people. But again, if I say no to you it's for a reason. Exactly yeah. it's for a reason. My no's are always life lessons to people. Hmm. You know, my, my no's are always life lessons. If I feel like I can tell you no, it can teach you a lesson without breaking you, I'm going to tell you no. Hmm. You know, so that's really how I look at it for sure. And I think it's powerful because like when I look at my friends, like mm-hmm. I'll get the quick questions. Like I'll get yeah. friends like, Jamar, how'd you do? Like my page that just went to 22K. Mm-hmm. How'd you do that? Blah, yeah. blah. And it's almost like they're, 
what then can I get a shout out or yeah like, exactly like, I'm so much of a giver yeah I'm never gonna put you in a position to hinder your growth exactly so like That's, you, you yeah. come to me there and instead of me giving you a fish let me teach you how to fish exactly you, you know? know and people don't have that mindset There's, people don't because that you know the root of the problem again mm -hmm. is they don't believe they can do it exactly they think they say well Jamar you're special yeah you can do that I mm -hmm. can't yeah well, I'm just like you exactly you feel me? literally and I tell people like one thing I tell people, some people are around you because of the amount of yeses you give them. Mm. So give give that I one no. Exactly. That one no is beneficial because that one no tests everything. Mm. There were definitely people around me because of the amount of times that I always say yes to them. But once I told them no, now our friendship is in mm. jeopardy because I told you no. How is that? Mm -hmm. So now it's kind of like, to me, it's like, okay, this wasn't a real friendship in the first mm. place, you know? So yeah, yeah definitely. This is a transaction. Exactly. This yeah. is a transaction mm -hmm. because now... You only you only around me because of what I because of what I have financially. You're not around. Relationship with me for you to be able to ask me for money. It's not really a friendship, you know. I have sad. I have friends that have actually never asked me for money. So when they do, I literally already know you need it. Yeah. I have friends that I I've seen people I've seen friends struggling and I've offered money to yeah. them and they've denied it. Yeah. So it's kind of like. Somebody like that, I value those people so much more. Like, okay, cool. You need the money, but you're denying it because you want to work for it. You mm -hmm. want to, you don't want to, you don't want any handouts for me. You know, that right there shows me, you know what, this person values me as a person. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go ten times harder to make sure you're set. Even if I gotta take care of everything without you knowing, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. And then one one point I really want to make, I just kinda had an epiphany. It's like yeah. you get money mm -hmm. and it seems so valuable. Yeah. And I always like to tell people you have to start valuing things beyond just a dollar sign. There we go. So like when you have money, what mm -hmm. people don't think about from hearing from you is yeah. you have this money, but now the value of love is so like it's almost a facade because exactly. you don't know where it really is. Exactly. So something I believe, yeah. I think true love, um, family, friends, true yeah. friends is more valuable than 100%. any type of money. 100%. So you get money, then all of a sudden the most valuable thing, yeah. you don't even know how much you have. Exactly. And again, I realized a lot of a lot of the times where I'm really unhappy is when my loved ones, when I'm having issues with loved ones. Mm. So it's like cool. I can go and I can go to the store and buy as many clothes as I want, designer clothes as I want. But again, once I come home. And I sit and I later and think about it, or it's kind of like the person, my loved ones, mm -hmm. aren't really, you know, we're not really on the same level, or like we're not really talk talking. It affects me, mm -hmm. and that that goes for a lot of people, especially like your 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 dynamics with a woman. Mm. A woman is such an important part of a man's life. Like women it. really don't understand that. As an entrepreneur, or just a man in general, you, your woman can make or ruin your day. You ain't lying. <laughs> your woman can make or ruin your day. So it's kind of like a lot of entrepreneurs are really go through depression or unhappiness the woman. because they picked the wrong woman. Mm -hmm. You know, you picked a woman that's just with you because of financial gain. She's not there when it, <laughs> you hit that dip, mom. Exactly. Yeah. She's not there when you hit that dip. Now you hit that dip. Now you're just like, okay, you already built that emotional connection with, with that woman. And it's like, okay, cool. Now she leaves you. Now you're just like, I have money. But again, now you're depressed. Now... You're automatically in that position where like, okay, cool. You you wanna just go out and find instant gratification. Mm. Now you're now you're now you're going for these eye candies and it's digging mm -hmm. yourself into a bigger and that's hole. That's affecting the business. Exactly. It's, all, a, it's a holistic thing. It's a whole. It's literally a domino effect with yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. It's literally a domino effect. So one one action leads to thousands of reactions. That's wow. Yeah. And so I think as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. we are getting from this and people to hear is yeah. being an entrepreneur means Everything is affecting your business. Everything is. Everything, whether Everything. that's your love life, yeah. whether that's whatever you got at home, mm -hmm. every part of your life yeah. is affecting your dollar sign. hundred percent. Feel me? So that's that's a wild thing to even think about. Yeah, um, that's yeah, that's that's definitely it. That's why you gotta you really gotta value the people that you bring around mm -hmm. you, things you spend your energy on. There's something that I just look at. Nah, I'm good. Nah, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I can't do it because my. Because me putting my energy to this is going to affect so many more things mm -hmm. that you have no idea about. You know, some uh, argument with you can affect me for the next two days. And literally, that can literally affect my, ment my, ment my, mental, my mental strength to take on this meeting. My mm. mental strength to memorize this thing because you're constantly going through my head. You know, that can, that can, that can go for your love life, your relationship with your friends, anything, you know, so... I've been in a position where, like, cool, my love life played a big part mm -hmm. in my success. And I realized the times where I didn't have that love is the times where I felt the most down.
that actually, elevates that ele- it elevates you so much more. It's like a lot of entrepreneurs. That's why I don't go for that. And a lot of people that in reality of it, is, there's a saying that men don't find love when they're rich. Hmm. That's true because hmm. it's of a fact that you there's always that doubt in your head. She are not you with me because of exactly? Are you with me because of the money? Are you with me because you genuinely love me? Or are you with me because of course somebody can love you? That's fine. But what's the reason that you they love respect me? Respect me. Exactly. Yeah. What's the reason Loyalty. that you love and respect mm-hmm. me? Be- that's really what it is. So it's kind of like, you know, finding that person. That- means so much more than money to me and i think that's another part of the motion to your wealth like, yeah like mm-hmm. i think sometimes we can get i want to get this money first before i get but maybe you got to build that relationship exactly. right? like for me one of the things when i do with my relationships is mm-hmm. like now that i'm at a point where i just see the value and the opportunity yeah i can't just be messing with any girl exactly because i just understand if i'm having up and down mood swings because of yeah. you and i don't even see you as a potential down here yeah why am i wasting my time exactly you feel me and i think that's something that's not a norm anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think that's something people have to think about, especially as an entrepreneur. Like mm-hmm. you go to nine to five, you can BS the rest of your day. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you in a different space than mm-hmm. me. But like for me, I can't let my confidence, let my um will to work be disturbed by somebody that's not even showing value that they with me through the highs and the lows. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. that was I think that was dope. Yeah, for sure. Um and then the one of the last question I want to ask you, I got a couple more left, but yeah. um so you take on that take on that mentee, yeah, or to whoever's listening. Mm-hmm. What's like a three minute, like something quick, or just a little spill of advice? How do they become like you? How do they become the serial entrepreneur that's doing these things? What can they do to become and to be able to facil- facilitate and maintain a lifestyle that you have? Put no boundaries to your to your success. Mm-hmm. Put no boundaries to what you can learn. Mm-hmm. Really, the root of all of this literally comes from learning mm. come from learning plan to action i tell i tell people all the time put a plan learn your plan mm-hmm. make mm. that plan make that plan make love to that plan mm-hmm. and execute that plan that's really what it is second nature almost. second nature yeah. make that plan your second nature if you as a man we are as a man as men especially we have this thing inside where if we become obsessed with something, we're gonna we're gonna stop at nothing to make mm-hmm. it happen. I agree. So be obsessed with it. Be obsessed with what you want to do. Be obsessed with one is success. Once you're obsessed with something, you're gonna put your all into it until you fail. Like just like if you see a woman that you really like, you have a crush on her. You're not. You're gonna stop at nothing yep. to try to get her. So now put the, put that put that into a business. Plan your business. Fall in love with that plan. Mm-hmm. Look at that plan. And every time you look at it, you're just like, you're just like, wow, this is beauty. A mentor actually told me, it's like, think of your, think of your life, plan something, and whenever you think about it, you you get aroused. Mm-hmm. You know, you're no, like, know you, you feel me? It's like a mentor. That's one of my. That's he literally told me. It's like when you look at your plan, when you think about it, you're in the mood to just go. Yeah. You know. So it's like. That's really one thing that you really have to do. You got to fall in love with it. You got to yeah. love it. If you don't love something, you're not going to put your all into it. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing that I've been able to do where everything that I've gone into, I planned it. I fell in love with the plan. Mm. I knew that I could build something. I knew there were longevity in it, just like a relationship. It's like there's a lot of stuff in entrepreneurship that you can relate to relationships yeah. because it's kind of like, you got to look at something and be like, you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. I see longevity in this. If I don't see longevity in something, why am I going to do it? But of course, there's there's things that you want to just do short term. Mm-hmm. That's fine and all. But again. You're not going to risk things if it's short term. Exactly. Yeah. You're not going to want to risk it. Mm-hmm. If, you're not, if, some, if you meet a girl and God tells you she's going to break your heart in six months, are you still going nope. to deal with her? Nope. No, you're not. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like, yeah, that's, really what I, that's my advice for people for sure. I There's no end. Mm-hmm. There's no quitting isn't an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like I've come to this point with all our interviewers and I can just feel the passion. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. once you decide quitting mm-hmm. isn't an option, it's just a matter of time. Yep. So like for you with all your businesses, mm-hmm. with all your endeavors or whatever you have in the future, yeah. once you know you have the passion for it, it's just Mo is just giving us a time. Like we're just waiting on the time. Mm-hmm. We're not questioning is it gonna happen. Like yeah. for me, when I started this podcast, it was never like, man, I hope one day it's like no, it's just when God says it's time. Yep. But 
I'm never gonna be the reason it ends mm-hmm. because until I stop breathing, yeah, quitting is an option. Exactly. You know what I mean, there so I go. definitely relate to that. Hundred percent. A bunch of people are gonna relate. Yeah. And so to end it off, like I know I can already get a feeling what you're gonna answer this question because yeah. you kind of just flowing to what's next. Mm-hmm. Is there even a bigger goal for you? Like, what is like the the biggest goal, the biggest dream when you waking up in the morning? You might have already achieved dreams, but yeah. I think people like us, we have more dreams that mm-hmm. come afterwards. Yeah. What's the biggest dream right now? Hmm. Biggest dream for me is really to wake up and feel like I've completed my mm. my life. You know, I've completed everything that I wanted to do. And me doing that is knowing that I've helped millions of people mm. realize their worth. Mm-hmm. Because your worth is so much more than... Your worth can be literally vanished because of somebody can say, oh yeah, you will never be this. So, you know, my big... My, my end goal is really to build something where... I'm helping people from other countries, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 making multiple successful people. It's like it's more of a I really I'm I'm more one so wants to build a school. Mm. But this school is a school that's actually I'm not taking anything from you other than your time and effort. Mm. You know? That's all I want from you, your time and effort and you being disciplined enough to execute a plan. You you looking at yourself, you valuing your your time on this earth, you know, building something where like people can understand, you know what, hey, I value myself. I know I'm more than what I'm what I am right now. I can be way more than this mm-hmm. and wanting to go into something, you know, building something where like people feel like, you know what, I have no limitation. Mm-hmm. If I can do that with hundreds of thousands of people, I feel accomplished. That's really my yeah. that's really my bigger goal. It's nothing, mm-hmm. it's nothing financially. I don't want the biggest cars. I don't want 10 Lamborghinis. My end goal is to be able to to have people come to my family, come to my kids in the future. Hey, your father changed my life. Mm-hmm. That's my goal. Well, I'll first off say you, you're already doing that. Yeah. Like you already doing that. I appreciate that. that and I like bro. to say like your purpose is something beyond your imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's people that are in that mold with mm-hmm. you that you don't even know. You yeah. don't even know their name. Yeah, yeah. And so I think it's amazing to hear that like mm-hmm. huge goal because yeah. Um, I think it's something I can relate to. Like one yeah. of my things is like I just want to know mm-hmm. when it's it. Yeah, I took it as far as I could. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You There's know, no like ah, oh, maybe I could have done it further. Exactly. You know what I mean, this is what it that this is what it is. Mm-hmm. If I'm if I'm laying on my deathbed, I want to be able to remember those times where I've actually I've actually changed people's lives. Mm-hmm. You know, I've changed somebody's whole perspective on life itself. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's kind of like those bring me joy. You know, helping people out. You know, giving, bro, coming to people. One thing that I always love is gratitude. People, mm. me helping people out is like, and them showing that emotion, that excitement that they mm-hmm. bring. It's like that brings so much joy to me more than just me, me buying the newest clothes. You know, yeah. me dating the finest girl, like whatever it is. You know, you know, just like changing somebody's life means so much to me, and that's really my end goal. Well, I'll say, and to, to give a synopsis to anybody um, yeah. about what I've learned from you mm-hmm. is that, like, I think it's funny. I see the end goal and the beginning yeah. connected. Yeah. Like, the lifelong learner. Yeah. You know, the humbleness to always want to learn from other people. Yeah. And to never limit yourself is what's going to get you there. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And so to anybody, if they want to understand what this interview was, it was learning from somebody yeah. that has no limits. Yep. And that wants to influence other people that there have no go. limits. Because if you continue to learn... You don't. You have no idea what you'll be doing in the future. Yeah, I know for a fact. Seven years ago, you didn't think you would be selling people jets. You know what no I'm saying? No doubt. And so, Not I'll first chance. off, yeah. like you're inspiring me mm-hmm. to be even more of a forward thinker. Yeah, to yeah. not limit myself. Yeah. Um. And so, first off, I'll say that, man. I appreciate you coming on. Of course, um, bro. Where can people? Um. Well, if there's any last advice you want to tell the, to the um, the people on the other yeah, side yeah. of the camera, is there anything else? Honestly, I'll just tell you guys. Like I said. Be disciplined mm-hmm. and love what you do. Mm-hmm. Once you love what you do, there's no limitations to it. Love is such a powerful thing mm-hmm. that we literally try to n- neglect, you know? Yeah. Once you have that love for something, you literally have everything that you need, that power, that drive behind you to execute it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, just like love what you do, plan something, love that plan, and want to execute it. And also, you're... The reason that you're doing something has to be much bigger than financial mm-hmm. growth. You know, it has to be bigger than finances. You have to want to do something. You got to have a, you got, it has to be a layer to it that can keep you going for 10, 20 years. If it's just something, you know, I need to, I need to get rich and I need to do it in a year. 
it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, you'll get money, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to last. Let's just say that. You know, it can happen, but it just probably won't last. So there's no worse feeling than making it to the top and falling right back down. Mm. Because you didn't have the right foundation. Exactly, you didn't have the right foundation. Got you. So yeah. where can people find you at, get in contact with you, follow all your brands? Um, yeah, so you can hit me up on Instagram at moc21, M-O-H-C-21. Same for TikTok. My brand's Motion Apparels with a Z at the end. And that's on TikTok, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And then my jet company is Motion Flightways, which is on TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, and everything else. Yeah. Got you. Well, we appreciate you coming on. Of course, bro. Man, it's been a pleasure. And make sure to everybody on the other side to make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you think of the episode. And also, if you're watching on any or listening on any podcast platforms, Mm -hmm. make sure to leave us a review. We'll see y'all next time on Root for Everything. Peace. Peace. Yeah.